Wasn't that lovely? Hannah Montana, or Miley Cyrus, whatever you want to call her. Uh, let's suppose that 80% of teens could name a song that she sings. And I mean, statistically, what are we given? We're given that P, which is the proportion, which is the population proportion, is 0.8. And that's out of all teens. That's our parameter. A lot of P's there. The question um, I'm giving my students is, what's the probability that if you asked a group of, asked a group of 50 teens, what's the probability that less than 75% of them could do it, could name a song. So it's true that 80% of teens in America could name her song, a name one of her songs. What's the chance that you got 50 people together, 50 teens, and less than 75% of them could actually name the song? In this particular case, we're dealing with a sampling distribution again, but we're dealing with percentages or proportions, it still would be a normal curve. We're talking about groups of 50 people. The average for the curve is known. It's 0.8. The standard deviation for that sampling model would follow this formula that's given to you on the exam. So we can develop a standard deviation of a way to describe the spread of this curve by following this formula here. P is 0.8, so 1 minus P is 0.2, divided by, there's 50 students, and you're square rooting that number. Doing that on a calculator ends up giving you about 0.565. Well, for, for convenience sake, let's just call it 0 0.6, 0 0.06. So it's about a 6% standard, devi standard de deviation. So if we march 6% in each direction, we could start developing a better picture description of our normal curve. So if we go two standard deviations from each direction, we'll know that we'll know that um, if we had groups of 50 teens, not 95% of those groups, there's a 95% chance that um, between 68% to 92% of those uh, students would know a song that she sings. Uh, the question is asking, what's the probability that it would be less than 75%? So we're looking at this part of, of the curve, less than 75%, be from 0.75 backwards. Suppose right there is 0.75. And that can be easily accomplished using normal CDF. So normal CDF, it's waiting for four numbers go from negative 1,000% to 0.75. We know 0.8 is the center, and 0 0.06 is the standard deviation. Got that all in, good. So, if you calculate that on your calculator, you end up getting about 20% chance.
you look at the picture, it does agree with the picture. I mean, it's about 20% of the curve being shaded. And those are two examples then, if you watch both videos, two examples of how the central limit theorem can get applied. Again, it's talking about the probability distribution model. That's very essential that you know. The probability distribution model is referring to all possible collections, in this case of 50 students, all possible samples and their statistics and where they'd fall. All right, so good luck to you in your, your endeavors. I wonder if that made it on the camera or not. I hope so.